In this video, I will show you how to use Microsoft Excel to perform student t-tests. So just before I go into how to perform the test themselves, I'll just introduce you to the data I have in my example. So in my example, I have two groups. I've got a group of males and a group of female participants where I recorded their height in centimeters. And in total, there are nine participants in each group. So what I'm wanting to do in this instance is to compare the height of males and females. And since they're independent groups, this will be an independent student t-test. So there are many ways to perform t-tests within Excel, and I'll just show you the easiest way. But if you want to learn how to perform these tests in different ways, you can follow the link to the guide on our website for more information. So to perform a t-test within Excel, firstly, you want to click on an empty cell where you want the results to be displayed. And the easiest way is to click on the insert function button found here. And then what you want to do in the list is to find the function called t-test, which is all one word, and then click OK. So in the new window that opens, there are four things you need to add. The array one is the first group data. So you wanna click this button under array one, click and drag your data, just including the data and not the header, and press the return key. Do the same thing for array two. So obviously in this example, it would be for the female data. So again, I'm gonna click this button here, click and drag my female data, and then press enter. For the number of tails, this can either be a one, which would signify a one-tailed analysis, or a two, which would be for a two-tailed analysis. Now in my example, I'm not interested in the direction of the height difference between male and females. So this would be a two-tailed distribution. A two-tailed analysis is usually the most common option. So I'm going to enter two in this box here. And then finally, for the type, there are three types of t-tests you can perform in Excel. The first is that the t-test is a paired sample t-test. Now this is when the samples are selected from the same group. For example, a before and after study. Since in my example, these are different participants, it wouldn't be a paired test I'm after. By entering the number two, you're selecting what's known as a two sample equal variance test. So the equal variance we're referring to the homeoscedasticity of the data. Now this basically just means the variation. So in other words, the standard deviations in my first group and my second group are roughly the same. So if your groups have a similar standard deviation, chances are you would select number two in this instance. Alternatively, if they have different variations, you would select three in this type. This means you would select a two sample unequal variance test. If you're still unsure about the variance between your data sets, you need to perform what's known as an F test. And I'll show you how to do this in a different video. So for this example, I'm gonna presume that my groups have equal variance and I want to perform a two sample equal variance test. So again, I'll enter the value two here. Now you will see straight away that the answer has been given in the window here, and this is the p-value. To insert this into the Excel sheet, you just simply press OK. And then in this cell here that we selected originally, this is now the p-value for our test. And if you look in the functions window, you'll see the formula that we entered. When you get used to writing formulas in Excel, you can simply type this out without going to the functions window when you're more confident. So that is how you can form a t-test within Excel.